This is what you see. Want any parts from these things? Let us know. There's like four of these coops, one of which is in really good shape. It's over here under carport. And this has got a ton of parts on it. I mean, I don't know how far it is gone on the bottom half, but most likely gone. But it does have a lot of good parts on it. And uh, the hood is stuck and the door is stuck. I couldn't open them. Everything seems to be that way around here. It's been so many decades since things have been touched or even moved. So it's just one of those things you got to kind of deal with. Walk around this way here. In the Dodge truck. Automotive, just old wood. Saw this thing here. Convertible Mustang. Looks like at one point in time they cared. Put something over it, which is horrible. Never put stuff over top of them, just put them in a barn. And that old thing on that side's gonna go to the scrapper too. Parts though, it's got all the parts on it. It's complete. It's got the bucket seats in it, the console, V8s in it. Look at that dirt floor, guys. Flintstone action for sure. Wow. And then you get like gaping holes in the ground for some reason. But we're doing what we can to dig them out. See what's salvageable. This thing still has a motor in it. That's cool. But boy, is it crusty up here. day at the farm okay I was able to get the hood open and it says I thought completely original all the way down to the air cleaner Trico. So yeah that's the uh, power plant in the old premiere. Boy, this was a beautiful car at one time, man. Just a totally beautiful car. I was able to get the hood open on this truck that we filmed previously. Um, it's a neat little truck. It's a decent little power plant in it. Not sure what it is. It's a Ford something or other. I'm a Mopar guy, so I don't really know much about those, but it's cool. It's all here. Got an acorn stash right there. Or that might be walnuts. Yeah, it looks like walnuts. But overall, yeah, this is a cool truck, so we thought maybe we could film that for you guys and see a little bit more of it. It's definitely got a, it's like a four speed or a column, four speed column? I don't know. Hmm. Custom cab. And we're over here at the 56 Bel Air. Can't get the hood opened as of yet. But I got the inside opened up and look at that. Oh yeah. Storing that dirt for decades. Look at that build up. That's wall deep y'all. Oh, much that is in there. Isn't that horrible? How people do that? Leave perfectly good cars out to waste. I know it. I 
Now it's definitely a parts car. Flintstone floors. And here's the old Chrysler. Old truck there, Ford. Slant six, or straight six, sorry. Four speed. Don't know what's in this thing yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. We got the Comet. Parts here is some old stuff right there, really old. The van. We're cutting all these trees out so we can get everything out as easy as possible. These are thorny little suckers too. Were they Hawthorne or something? We're working on getting the uh, power wagon hood open to see what that's working with. Probably a 318. Just a plow truck. That's old school wagon right there. That's your going to town rig. Way back in the day. Not really. It's a farm implement. And um, I think it's seen better days, but it's pretty solid still. So my shadow's killing it. That van over there. Hmm. Left to time. Hmm. This Jeep is sorry. <laughs> And we got the Toyota Corolla. The Chevy pickup truck with the Dodge pickup truck. Look at that rust. Wow. That's crazy. So, yeah, and then we got a Mazda 323 over here. Oh, a flower. Look at that. Look at that thing. Gone. Just let it sit there till it dilapidated. That truck on the other side, though, is cool. This one's got bucket seats in it, so that's pretty dope. <clears throat> that's a little console. Those are good for parts. But yeah, things are just wasted away. We're walking through the old farm here, and um, this is the back of like a bus, and we're wondering what this is. This is an old Chevy, like a 350, or I don't think it's a 454 or nothing, but it's old. I don't know if anybody else knows what that is. Let us know. GMC. Wow, that belt thing. Interesting. I cut into right here in the back. I was able to get a little further. I got it exposed. Window was out of it. Didn't realize that in the beginning. But the cool thing is, is the dashboard and the front half is all perfect, which is good because that means I can just use that for the parts. As you can tell, it's buried, right? Those are thick. There's a 64 Impala right there. And I was just over there a few minutes ago, looking right that way. And you can't even see the bomber or the white wagon or that Pontiac or 64 Mustang and a like a 70s Comet. There's a Velari in here. What? There's the coupe. There's the Velari. Yeah. So we're digging them out to see how much is salvageable. Anybody needs any parts for any of these types of cars, we'll be having them available for you. Except for this one, I'm gonna take the dashboard for myself and the front grille and maybe the motor. Not sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> 